Recent heavy rainfall caused floods in Dongguan, Sabah. Shop owners in the area were affected by this flash flood. Their shops were infiltrated by flood water, causing damage to their properties. After doing much research, we found out that floods are also caused by various reasons other than heavy rainfall such as clogging or drainage systems, ineffective sewer systems, and many more. Since we have no way of changing the unpredictable weather, we decided to work with the drainage system in Dongguan to help the shop owners. There are already existing solutions to this problem but it is very expensive, unavailable in Malaysia and only has a single function. So we came up with the solution, the smart drain. The happenings of flash floods can be traced back to poor maintenance of the drainage system as well, which is drains filled with garbage thrown by passersby, kitchen waste and oil spills being thrown to the drain from restaurant. This causes the drainage system to clog which will cause water to not flow smoothly. So this is the overview of our invention. How does our invention work? Smart Drain works as a flood detector which can alert nearby shops for an incoming flood. Other than that, it can also help maintain the cleanliness of the drains as we have installed a trash detector inside. Responsible parties who are alerted by the LED light should be able to clean up the trash inside to prevent clogging the drainage system, which is one of the contributing factors of flash floods. Our invention can collect the trash that are thrown into the drain as it has nets to separate the water and the trash. Lastly, the smart drain can also generate electricity enough to power the street lights and the Arduino itself. Let me explain it to you. The smart drain has a water level sensor that is used to detect the rising water level in the drain. When the water level reaches the top of the sensor, a red LED light will light up, alerting the people nearby of a possible flood. Other than that, it also has an ultrasonic sensor to detect the trash inside the drain. If the trash inside the drain is full, the blue LED light will change into a green light, so the people responsible can dispose the trash properly. Lastly, we also use the piezo as a way of generating electricity by using the cars and passes by on the road and on the sidewalk, where people apply pressure on the piezo while walking or driving by. This section is the Arduino pin input for each component and the value from photoresistor. Arduino will read values from all of the sensors that has been installed. For the ultrasonic sensor, it has its own unit of conversion which is right here. So if it sends the trash distance below 7cm, it will turn to red color. But if it's more than 7cm, it will become green color. At the same time, the value from water level sensor will continuously be sent to Arduino. And if it's reached a certain water level, it will turn on the red LED. Next is the photocell. If its value below 700, which is dark, then it will turn the yellow LED on. As a team, we face many difficulties while prototyping, coding, and wiring for our invention. This is because we are currently facing the COVID-19 pandemic and are all stuck in our homes to prevent the spread of the virus. During the period of time where we were working on our invention, I was in charge of doing the wiring. I faced some difficulty as I got confused a lot of time which part to connect. I had a hard time coding as well because I kept on making typing errors. However, I got over the problem pretty easily. I focused on and label each wire so I don't get confused while doing the wiring. And for the coding, I got some help from my teammates who helped me check for any typing errors in the code. For me, it was difficult to keep up with the progress of the prototype because of the lack of communication. We were separately working on the invention at our own homes as it was hard to meet up during this pandemic. So, I would often ask for photos on the progress of the prototype and if the coding was working and so on. We went through hard times but we decided not to dwell on the bad memories. Our invention does not mean we encourage throwing trash into the drainage system. We invented the smart drain because there are still irresponsible and stubborn individuals who litter the drains. There is no solution to stopping the inconsiderate people from littering. Even though we already have a solution, we still hope that the people can discipline themselves and not throw trash into the drains. You press the electricity and we free you from plug and flood. We are Team Meta, thanks for watching.